Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at using website icons and emojis for bookmarks in Chrome. Bookmarks are an excellent way to provide quick access to your most used websites. And that would be great if you only had 10 favorite sites. However, if you're anything like me, your bookmark collection is in the dozens or uh, perhaps hundreds of links. So how do you manage your bookmarks when they no longer fit on the bookmark bar? Well, thankfully, there's lots of tips and tricks to wrangling your bookmarks. One trick is to use bookmarks mark icons. Let's take a look at how this works. So a big problem with bookmarks is, well, how big they are. Each bookmark takes up quite a lot of space on your favorites bar, so you're limited to how many you can see at one time. When you look at it, though, most of the space is taken up with the name of the website. However, many websites have very distinctive, clearly recognizable icons for the site. Just by looking at the icon, we know which bookmark is for Gmail or Drive or Calendar or such. So one trick I like to use for commonly accessed sites is to remove the text from the bookmark and just leave the site icon instead. Here's how you do that. Start by right-clicking on an existing bookmark, and then choose Edit from the pop-up menu. The Edit Bookmark window will now open. Here, you can change a lot of things about the bookmark, but what we want to edit is the name. Simply delete out all of the text in the Name box. Then click Save. The bookmark is still there, but now it's just the icon for the website, and this takes up much less room. Let's do a few more of these. You can get about five bookmarks in the space that just one bookmark used to take up. Now, if you have multiple bookmarks that have the same site icon, like all four of these use a Google Docs icon, this wouldn't work to remove all of the text for each as, well, they'd look exactly the same. In these cases, I still go in and remove all of the text, but then I try to replace it with something as short as possible, such as a single letter, or better yet, a descriptive emoji. Let's go ahead and do that for the rest of these. And that's it. Hopefully these tips will help you to organize and access more of your favorite websites. And hopefully you will bookmark controlaltachieve.com as one of those websites on your bookmarks bar so you can quickly get to all of the edtech resources I share there. Be sure to check out the other blog posts and videos in this series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.